By now, cli-fi or climate fiction has carved out somewhat of a niche for itself in movie theaters. Big budget crowd pleasers like Christopher Nolan's Interstellar or action flicks like Kingsman The Secret Service have started using climate change as a villainous weapon or as a way to create apocalyptic destruction. Much like nuclear imagery was used in the 1980s to navigate American fears of catastrophic nuclear apocalypse, climate change is beginning to take root in Hollywood as a way to understand what the environmental future holds for humanity. Explicit references to climate change in movies really began in 2004 with The Day After Tomorrow. The film revealed that a global climate disaster movie could rake in almost $550 million from the worldwide box office. Given its popularity, The Day After Tomorrow is a perfect case study to understand how climate change related movies affect viewers and why they play an important role in spurring climate action. The Day After Tomorrow couches its drama within an extreme weather event caused by a rapidly changing climate. In short, climate change is the protagonist's primary motivator. The film uses its fictional universe to envision the effects of our fossil fuel reliant culture, albeit in an extreme way, in order to show that immediate climate action is necessary in our real world. One of the main ways it achieves this is through dialogue. Our climate is fragile. At the rate we're burning fossil fuels and polluting the environment, the ice caps will soon disappear. Professor, uh... Paul, our economy is every bit as fragile as the environment. Perhaps you should keep that in mind before making sensationalist claims. This simple yet effective scene is eerily similar to general arguments surrounding climate policy today. Dennis Quaid's character Jack lays out clear evidence of a potential climate disaster, yet the vice president is hesitant to act insisting that climate action will mean economic instability. With the subsequent onslaught of superstorms and tornadoes, however, the movie quickly reveals the error of the vice president's reasoning, ultimately showing that refusing to act on climate change will have worse consequences than economic instability. While clearly simplistic, the menace of unrelenting superstorms caused by a fossil fuel reliant world affected many of the viewers of The Day After Tomorrow. The primary scientific consultant for the movie, Michael Molitor, noted, Nothing I have done in the 23 years of my climate change career may have a greater impact than this film. While a study in the 2004 issue of Environment that surveyed audience members a week before and one month after they saw The Day After Tomorrow reveals that, quote, the film led moviegoers to have higher levels of concern and worry about global warming. Considering the global reach of the film, these results speak promisingly towards Cli-Fi's positive impact on climate change awareness. Yes, the movie's narrative is simplistic and its weather events over the top. Some have even argued that this extreme depiction of rapid climate shift can lead to a misconstruing of what a future with a changed climate would look like. In essence, the exaggerated steps the movie takes to appeal to the moviegoer leaves the viewer struggling to understand exactly what risks they face in a changing climate. But to me, that's not the role of these big budget cli-fi movies. Their fictional exaggeration of climate disaster can be tolerated if the movies achieve their main task, raising public consciousness about global warming. Movies like Snowpiercer and The Day After Tomorrow work at the front line of a growing desire to grapple with climate change. They introduce people to the issue through enjoyable and easily consumable narratives, which can then lead into more information-heavy outlets like documentaries or scientific research. Major climate action will take a lot of effort in many different arenas. And this new genre of cli-fi plays a key role in helping people understand that climate change is an imminent threat. This video was made possible in part by the wonderful people who support me on Patreon. If you're interested in helping me grow this channel, head on over to Patreon and pledge a small amount of money for every video I release. In return, I'll send you gifts like a handwritten thank you note or an Our Changing Climate sticker. As always, if you like what you just saw, share it around and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.